مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Dear students, welcome back Today's lesson will be from module 2 Lesson 2B We are on page 25 We have two lessons Combined into one video First part will be grammar, and we will see in grammar two things. First, what is the difference between can and could? And second, adverbs of manner. It's just a quick revision with some activities. Second part is listening. In this part, we will listen to a text speaking about a person personality, and we do some activities. Okay, first come, things comes first. Open your student book, page 25, page 25. We start with can and could with this part of the page. Open your book, please. Today's lesson will make the difference between how to use can and how to use could, when to use each of them, what is the difference and what is the meaning of each of them. So let's go. On the same page, let's practice activity. في الامتحان إن شاء الله راح يجيك أسئلة شبيهة بهذه. When you have two possibilities and you choose which one is correct, ضع حلقة circle on the correct one. Can or could في كل هذه الجمل حسب زمن الجملة بالطبع. إذا كانت الجملة for simple present or the present, use can. If the sentence is in the past, use could. The first one, let's do it together. It's a dialogue, A and B. A said, can or could your dad rollerblade when he was young? When he was young? الآن أم سابقا? Yes, when he was young, it means the past. Yes, he can, could. But he can't, couldn't roll, roller braid now. Ah, إذن الجواب في قسمين. قسم الأول يجيب على نفس الشيء نفس الزمن والقسم الثاني في عالم الزمن جديدة. Now, إذن الأولى تكون مثلها والثانية. But he now can't roller blade. Very good. ثانية. The climbers. didn't reach the top of the mountain yesterday yesterday because they can't or couldn't couldn't continue they were tired number three i need help with my spanish can or could you speak spanish can you speak spanish b no I can't, I couldn't, but my brother can, could. Which one? Yes, in the present. No, I can't, but my brother can. Really? Yeah. He can't, couldn't speak Spanish two years ago. Two years ago? To Samuel Mavi. Eden. He couldn't speak Spanish two years ago, but he studied in Spain for a year. Well done, excellent job. الآن ميزنا الفرق بين كان and could وتدربنا عليها بأمثلة متعددة. Just keep in mind, you need to find the tense of the sentence. ابحث على علامة الزمن. ما هو زمن الجملة؟ تجد نفسك عندك الإجابة الصحيحة وبكل سهولة. Can in simple present, could simple past. Our second part of the lesson is on the same page. Adverbs of manner. We will work on this part of the page. Adverbs of man. What are adverbs of manner? How to use them? How to form them? What is the meaning of each one of them? Listen to the video I will uh, show you now. We will play it to revise what we already know. And then we come back 
and do the activities. Hello everyone. Today we will learn about adverbs. Let us read the sentences. The girl sang sweetly. I came yesterday. The boy reached there on time. Ram finished his work quickly. The words sweetly, yesterday, there and quickly are adverbs. An adverb is a word that adds meaning to a verb. An adjective or another adverb. Let's observe these sentences one by one. I came, I came yesterday. Here the word came is a verb. The word yesterday has added more meaning to the verb came. So, yesterday is an adverb. Here is another one. The boy ran. This is a simple sentence. Let's add more meaning to this. The boy ran fast. Here, fast is the adverb, as it adds to the description of the word ran. Now let us modify the sentence further. The boy ran very fast. Here, the word very is another adverb, which is added to the adverb fast. In this example, the word added to the description of the adverb is also an adverb. Let's look at adverbs that are generally used in sentences. Most of the adverbs are formed by adding ly to the adjectives. For example, loud, loudly, sweet, sweetly, happy, happily. Let us read a few sentences with these words. The bird chirps loudly. The word loudly tells us how the bird chirps. She sings sweetly. In this example, the word added to the description of the verb is also an adverb. In this example, the winners celebrated happily. The word happily tells us how the winners celebrate it. An adverb which tells us how an action is done is called an adverb of manner. Now, with the video, you have revised all that you know already about adverbs and mainly adverbs of manner. Let's fill these uh, gaps here using the activity, the words. So. We read these two sentences and we take these blue words and we put them in the gap. When we finish, this will be a rule, Qaida. Okay? So, let's read. Mike is a very careful climber. He climbs carefully. Careful, carefully. Bill is a very good driver. He drives well. Good, well. Not a vector. Adjective describes the person or the thing, the noun. Adverb describes the action. So, which of the blue words are adjectives and define nouns? Mike is a very careful climber. So, careful tosif describes, defines Mike or the action. It defines Mike. Very good. Bill is a very good driver. Good defines Bill. So, it's an adjective. Al-Baqi, carefully and well. Adverbs, and they describe how something happens. Very good. They describe the action. Note that we have irregular adverbs. Adjectives, when we turn them into adverbs, we usually use 
L Y. Quite, quietly. Careful, carefully. لكن irregular adverbs مثل القائمة هذه يتغير الأدجكتيف تماما إلى كلمة مغيرة أو يحافظ على شكله دون أن يأخذ ال واي مثال good you are a good student you do your activities well good أصبحت well fast you are fast runner You ran fast. بقيت مثلها دون أن تأخذ L Y. Early هي أصلا فيها L Y. لا يصلح. We don't. We can't say early. -ly. We just say early. Early as an adverb as well. Late. Late. You are late. You came late to school. Hard and hard. This. This board is hard to break. It breaks hard. Well done. So I need you to revise these words because you will need them all along the years of studying English. Let's move on now. We have an activity D on the same page, page 25. Activity D. Complete the sentences. Use the adjectives in brackets to form adverbs. So we have a sentence and we have a gap, a blank space. Use these adjectives, you turn them as adverbs. adverb. Kelly always speaks to her parents polite, or shall we say politely, very good. أضفنا لها ال واي مثل ما تقول القاعدة add in ال واي this activity isn't difficult I can do it easy تصبح very good easily with a, with a slight change easy it ends with y when you add ال واي into it The first Y becomes I. Easily. Easily. Number three. Hassan takes nice pictures. He can use a camera. Good. What's good? Hala good. Hala good. Goodly. Or. Yeah. It becomes well. Good. Tosbih. Well. The anha. Irregular adjective. The last one. We walked slow through the forest. Slow becomes slowly. Excellent job. Now you know how to make, how to um, uh, turn adjectives into adverbs by adding ly and following the rule. You can pause the video and take the questions that you Excellent job. Okay, here we are. Now that we know enough about grammar, let's go to part two of the lesson, which is listening. On the same page, I will give you a piece of listening, a text to listen to, and we do this activity, uh, these uh, questions together. Okay, listen carefully. Let's do it. And the okay. lesson, the first of grammar, will be is about, about the listening. verb can. I will play and could. the text. You and listen to the text and, and you could. try to do the activity. You know together. how to use so them. The text will be But about some this of us person. Will make this some person mistakes using can works or could. Uh, as a marine, which one is correct in which the very well. This is our lesson today. To make what is his name? And good use of can and could. we will discover so it from. Read the, the examples below. Which dial here? Refers to the listen, listen time to a man talking about Jack has a dialogue. Cousteau. When a French and French mean, and and check time. your answers and the second one is with a past, past time. So, so we will which one is the I will be your partner. present time? So this is Mr. How does the verb change in the second dialogue? Here are 
six questions me about him. What you listen can and I will help you could find out the rest in this dialogue information one. about Mr. Kusto. And uh, so two, where was Kusto from? What does it express here? Is it from or Poland? What listen. does it express here? Three. Listen. B. With the phrases listen to a man talking about Jacques Cousteau and check your answers above with a partner. Jacques Cousteau was a famous French explorer. He was born on the 11th of June 1910 and he... So, Jacques Cousteau, was he the answer is? No. From France? He can't. Or Poland? But he Polish. can read. I give you a hint. He can't. But the answer should read. be. So this Pains sentence is French in which tense? Explorer. Very good. A a a a time marker. When I was Cousteau it. born? Mark is four he years old, old now. on the 11th of June. Now is the time marker. It shows that this dialogue Excellent. is in the simple present. This is how we Very do good. the what exam about second time. We focus. focus. And you try to go you ride a bike, a bike when you, so you focus on the question and you find the uh, you ride needed bike information from when you were five listen to B uh, text. No, I so could second one. But I could how paint. old was he when and he which died in this situation? Was it eighty five or seven years old? Jumla or Kadima to deal to do look at the tense. The tense here is could you he died when at the age of five. It's not today, great. but before, at the age of five. Next question. Now you are not five years old. What you are did he explore? Older. But Listen. what about when you... He loved the ocean, and he quickly discovered that he wanted to explore the underwater world. Could you write? The North Pole or the ocean? Could is used in the simple past. Can or the ocean is used in simple present. As you Let's can link see... One and two. North Pole is not A here. and B. But the ocean is mentioned. Which here. dialogue? Great. Expresses ability in the present. How many documents? Which of them did he express ability in the past? About eighty documentaries. As we have said. So over a hundred and twenty documentaries. In the present. In the past. Number two. Eighty. Then. He wrote lots of books and made over 120 documentaries. Great. The answer is? Made over 120 documentaries. Excellent. B is correct. What was the name of his ship? Calypso or Pandora? And Rahtisma would go. With his ship, Calypso. What was it? Calypso. Very good. Excellent job, dear friends. Let's move on. At the end of the lesson, I should say that lesson is completed. In this lesson, we have seen grammar, can and could, adverbs of manner. And also, we had some listening. So thank you for your time. And see you on the next video. مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية.